Hey everybody and welcome back to another One Everything Wednesday replacement series, the Patron Pile series. We're back again with three uh, booster packs of Mystery Boosters Convention Edition. If you're unfamiliar with what we're doing here, we're opening up these packs. We're taking everything that's worth a dollar or more. We're adding it to our Patron Pile, which is a pile of cards that gets given away to our patrons once a month when we do our Patron Rewards videos. So we do a stream every month around the beginning of the month and we... Uh, Go ahead and put everything worth a dollar or more into a pile and everybody who is a patron for longer than a month essentially gets a pull from that pile as long as they're at one of the magic tiers uh, we got a counter spell here out of the Wo wooberg order that's pretty good we'll take that dread return also another solid little card from the wooberg order we'll take that as well uh epicure blood goblin matron so as you can see these come in wooberg order so you got uh white blue black red green um, and then you have a multicolor card, I believe. Yeah, there we go. Underworld Coinsmith. Great from the original Theros block. And then you get a colorless card. So in this case, we got a Milliken. Very nice. And then you get an M15 or older card. So in this case, we get a Mythic. And that is Thrun, the last troll. So we'll take that. Prices should be coming up in the top right corner for the cards that are over a dollar. And then we got a Chromatic Lantern as our rare for the pack. This is a pretty spicy pack. Wow. All right, Chromatic Lantern. And then, of course, because these are convention edition packs, you get a playtest card. In this case, we got a ge Geometric Weird. So weird looking, right? So weird looking. But yeah, we're just basically opening these up. Um, for those of you who are unfamiliar with the channel, welcome, everybody. I'm Mr. Brevers. I hope you're all having a wonderful day um, when you're catching this video. We used to do a sort of series where we would go around to the LGSs in and around my area and buy one of every pack they had available to sort of showcase what the LGS had for sale, but also give us some interesting stuff to open up. Um, and we would take the cards that were worth a dollar or more from those packs and put them into the patron pile. Um, when the pandemic hit, we sort of stopped doing that because, you know, uh, stores were not really open anymore so much as they were doing kind of by appointment only. We got a Bloodbraid Elf here, uh, definitely over a dollar. We'll take that. An Arcane Sanctum. Uh, this is the esper one uh i can never remember which of these sanctums are worth over a dollar some of them are some of them aren't well anyway we'll put it down here we got a nemesis of reason as well as our m15 or older card great solid little card as well we'll take that and our rare for the pack is a trading post not a bad little card either i like this card quite a bit it's so versatile there's so many things you can do with it and then we've got a seek bolus's council as our playtest card little three mana sorcery this is choose one at random and there's a whole bunch of text on there. There's what, one, two, three, four, five, six options. And you get one at random. So it's kind of a funny little card, isn't it? Uh, definitely an interesting little card. Don't know uh, what, what price is on that when I'm filming this, but of course I will have looked it up and put it up in the top corner there. If I do miss anything out of the Wooberg slots, please let me know uh, in the comments below and make sure that I pull it aside for the patrons. I would greatly appreciate it, and I know they would as well. Um... I think I try to grab everything when I'm doing the editing. I also kind of just do it slowly and go through the video and make sure I pull out the ones that I may have missed uh, and I put the prices up. So again, like Ancestral Mask, this was over a dollar for a long time. Can't remember if it is anymore, but I'll pull it out to the side anyway. Explosive Vegetation, another great little card. Don't know if this is over a dollar either, but it's a solid card. Very versatile. Uh, we got a Grim Contest here. We got a Trepanation Blade as our colorless card. Good old Trepanation Blade. This is from the original Innistrad block. Um, and then our M15 or older is a Cairn Wanderer or Cairn Wanderer. I think that's around where, where you see it at. And then, oh, we got a Birds of Paradise. Very nice. Who doesn't like a good bird every now and then, you know? Birds are weird and everything, but these birds are pretty sweet. Let's be honest. And then we've got a legendary vampire wizard, Zim, Mesmeric Lord. 3-4 flyer for one, a blue and a black black with flying and death touch that says when it enters the battlefield, target opponent chooses an, uh, an order of the cards in their hand. The target opponent chooses an order for the cards in their hand, then reveals them one by one until you say stop. That player then discards the most recently revealed card. Weird, but also cool. Like what an interesting game of chance you get to play then, right? With your opponent. You're like, you know, they essentially order the cards whoever they think that you might like, you know, they won't put the best things at the end. Maybe they put some at the front and then you're wondering, oh, well, what else could there be that's good in there that I didn't get to see? It's interesting. And they might put stuff at the end that they just don't want you to even know they have. 
it could be like you know a common removal spell or something but just like something that they don't want you to know they have so they put it at the end so that you thro throw out their big bomb like they know they have a card that you're going to make them discard they'll put that like near the front because then they show that first and then you either say yes or no and they either get to keep the big bomb if you if you continue or you don't get to see any of the rest of the stuff in their hand interesting it's in it's very interesting that's a really cool idea of behind a mechanic so there you have it everybody thanks so much for watching i've been your husband rivers uh if you want to get in on the patreon action go over to patreon.com slash mr rivers link below in the description and you can sign up to one of the magic tiers and get yourself a grab bag and some of the pulls from the patron pile uh once you get past your first month so thanks so much everyone and as always may your pulls ever be better